the landscape of professional photography is about to be completely rewritten. While the world was busy arguing over the Sony A12 and the Canon R1, Nikon was quietly in the lab, forging something that doesn't just comp it, it dominates. Talking about the Nikon Z92, we thought the original Z9 was a disruptor when it killed the mechanical shutter. But according to the latest leaks and insider roadmaps for 2025 and 2026, Nikon is preparing a yellow-red monster that combines legendary Nikon ergonomics with cinema-grade red color science. Today, on TapTech, we're peeling back the curtain on the specs that are making professionals rethink their entire gear bag. From a rumored global shutter-like speed to the debut of the Xpeed 8 processor, this isn't just an upgrade. A takeover. If you want to know why the industry is in a state of shock, don't move an inch. We're breaking down everything from the 60 megapixel stacked sensor to the hidden features Nikon hasn't told you about yet. Asterisk, let's get straight to the heart of the beast, the sensor. When the Z9 launched, its 45.7 megapixel stacked CMO sensor was the gold standard for speed. But in the world of 2025, that bar has been raised. The most credible reports coming out of Japan suggest Nikon is testing two distinct paths for the Z92. The first is a staggering 60.1 megapixel high-speed stacked sensor. This would allow Nikon to finally match the resolution of the Sony A7R series while maintaining the insane 32 120 frame per second. Burst rates that sports and wildlife photographers live for. But there's a second even more provocative rumor. A hybrid global shutter sensor developed in collaboration with Tower Jazz. While a full global shutter is expensive and can sometimes hurt dynamic range, Nikon is reportedly working on a readout. Speed so fast that rolling shutter distortion becomes a physical impossibility. Even when panning at high speeds during a 100 meter sprint to drive this massive amount of data, Nikon is introducing the Xpeed 8 image processor. This isn't just a slight bump in clock speed. The XPD-8 is rumored to feature a dedicated neural processing unit, or NPU. Why does that matter? Because it takes AI subject detection from smart to predictive. Imagine an autofocus system that doesn't just track a bird's eye, but predicts the flight path based on wing position. For sports photographers, this means the camera could potentially recognize specific plays on a football field and prioritize the player with the ball before the action even happens. We're looking at AF calculation speeds that could double. The current Z9's performance, ensuring that even in a chaotic 20 frame per second raw burst, every single frame is tack sharp. But let's talk about the red elephant in the room. Since Nick Khan's acquisition of the Red Digital Cinema Company, every filmmaker has been waiting for the first true crossover. The Z9 II is expected to be that bridge. We are hearing reports of 8,000 internal recording at up to 120 frames per second. But with a twist, RED's proprietary compressed RAW, or R3D files, might be natively supported. If this happens, the Z92 won't just be a great hybrid camera. It will be a viable B-cam for Hollywood productions. Nikon is also reportedly working on an improved magnesium alloy heatsink design. The Z9 was already a thermal champ, but the Z92 is being engineered to record 8K 6OP indefinitely. Even in the blistering heat of the Sahara or the humid sidelines of a summer stadium, physically, the Z92 will likely retain the integrated vertical grip that pros love, but with significant refinements to the user interface. Rumors suggest a new smart hot shoe, similar to what we've seen on the Nikon ZR cinema camera. It's allowing for four-channel digital audio without external cables. We're also expecting the electronic viewfinder to get a massive resolution bump to 9 million dots with a 2,000 nit brightness, it's making it indistinguishable from an optical finder even in direct midday sun now. The question everyone is asking, when can you get your hands on it and how much will it hurt your bank account? Given that the 2026 Winter Olympics are on the horizon, industry insiders point toward a development announcement in late 2025. With a full release in early 2026, as for the price, Nikon has been very aggressive with its flagship for the people strategy. While the Sony A12 is pushing the $6,500 to $7,000 mark, 
Rumors suggest Nikon wants to keep the Z9 to around the $5,999 price point to maintain its competitive edge and force the hands of Canon and Sony. Asterisk the Nikon Z9 II is shaping up to be more than just a camera, it's a statement of intent. Nikon isn't playing catch up anymore, they are setting the pace. If the rumors of the X Speed 8 and the RED integration hold true, we are looking at the most powerful hybrid tool ever created. But I want to hear from you. Does a 60 megapixel sensor make you want to upgrade? Or are you hoping for that global shutter breakthrough? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single one. If you found this deep dive helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to Tap Tech for the most authentic up to the minute camera leaks and tech news. Don't let your gear hold back your vision. I'm your host, and I'll see you in the next one.